Hello, Michael. Um, it's great to sit here with you in Frankfurt uh, and good to have you here uh, over all the way coming from USA to Germany and uh, helping us to discuss some health issues and uh, what you think about environmental medicine and food supplements. Um, today we uh, want to talk about the stomach and the stomach function, especially uh, about the acidic environment and what it's actually good for because what uh, we understand um, from the medicine in general is that uh, many health issues are um, answered by taking away the acid by giving medicine that reduces the acidic mm -hmm. environment in the stomach and then um, to compensate they uh, usually give some B12 injection. What do you think? Is that enough to uh, help people to become healthy uh, if they have conditions that uh, can be very severe? We hear so much about over acidity, but uh, four times as many people suffer from low acid output as they suffer from high acid output. And even though the drugs, uh, mainly we're talking about acid blocking drugs, even though they relieve the symptoms, they, they create a long list of uh, side effects. Uh, these drugs are associated with all sorts of adverse effects, increased risk of infections, not just gastrointestinal infections, but also things like pneumonia. They're associated with increased risk for fractures, in increased risk for heart disease and strokes, Alzheimer's disease, multiple nutrient deficiencies. So. Uh, these drugs, at least in the United States, are really coming under fire because they're a classic example of a drug suppressing the symptoms but causing so many problems because of the side effects that they produce. Uh, it's totally an irrational approach to digestive dysfunction. Instead of looking at uh, blocking symptoms by blocking body processes, we need to help the body work better. And uh, Many people uh, don't uh, secrete enough hydrochloric acid. And, as you stated, uh, hydrochloric acid has many body functions. Uh, it really is important to have an acidic environment in the stomach. Uh, we, want, we want to protect ourselves from, from microorganisms that may be in, in our food, and the, the acidic environment is very important in, in that. And also, uh, the cells that produce the acid produce other factors that help with, with digestion. You mentioned uh, B12, an intrinsic factor, and uh, these are very important uh, aspects of digestion. Uh, when we eat food, uh, the body's response is to secrete hydrochloric acid and in, in that environment we're also secreting enzymes that are important for breaking down that food. Uh, if we're not uh, secreting enough hydrochloric acid, it really uh, is a, a block to the whole digestive process. Uh, it's a big domino to, to get moving. Uh, uh, digestion, the big uh, uh, importance of that hydrochloric acid. And if we don't have it, it just pretty much halts all, all digestion and, and that uh, creates symptoms. Uh, typically when people lack hydrochloric acid, uh, they experience uh, an uncomfortable feeling, maybe some gas or bloating within the first 30 minutes of eating. Uh, and uh, uh, Simply taking hydrochloric acid can be just a life-changing event for, for these, these people because they're very uncomfortable. Uh, we see low levels of acid output, can, output in a lot of uh, uh, different uh, health conditions, uh, mainly autoimmune diseases, uh, things like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus and uh, ankylosing spondylitis and uh, uh, thyroid uh, disorders and uh, uh, vitiligo. Uh, they're all associated with low output of, of stomach acid. Uh, it may be a factor in the development of those conditions uh, and uh, I'm not saying that taking uh, hydrochloric acid would help those conditions but it will help uh, restore the, the right amount of acid in that stomach and allow us to digest the food better. And maybe some of those conditions can be improved through better digestion. Uh, I said it uh, on previous uh, videos, 
all health begins in the gut. That was a famous quote mm -hmm. from Hippocrates. Mm -hmm. And if we're not digesting our food, it can lead to other, other conditions. So uh, we know that uh, lack of hydrochloric acid uh, occurs quite frequently as we age. Many people have been able to eat certain foods and never have any problems, and, or they all of a sudden have a bunch of digestive issues uh, as they've gotten older. It's, it's usually a result of uh, lack of secretion of hydrochloric acid or, or other digestive factors, particularly digestive enzymes. It doesn't make any sense to, to further block digestion by taking an acid-blocking drug. What makes sense is giving the body the tools it needs to, to digest the food and be healthy. So you were talking about acid to take it to the food whilst uh, taking the meal. Um, from my understanding, it sounds quite uh, critical um, to take acid. Will it not burn something in me or harm me? Um, what form of uh, acid? Is it a capsule? Is it a tablet? What would you suggest to have it uh, in a secure way, in a safe way? Yeah, either tablets or, or capsules. And uh, our, our stomach lining is uh, very tough. Uh, the acid is extremely strong, one to, uh, pH of one to four, that's a very strong acid. So how does the body protect itself from that? Well, it has a, a mucin layer. Sometimes that uh, mucin layer can, can break down and we can utilize uh, some uh, dietary supplements and, and foods to help rebuild that. Uh, with uh, hydrochloric acid supplementation, uh, there's kind of a dose effect. Uh, for some people, when they, when they take hydrochloric acid, it may uh, uh, cause a, a warm sensation or even a burning sensation. If that happens, then <clears throat> they either don't need it or they may need to build up their stomach lining so that it can, it can uh, handle what they are uh, needing. Uh, we can use that feedback to kind of gauge what the right dosage is for people. Um, most uh, <clears throat> hydrochloric acid supplements uh, provide about 600 milligrams of, <clears throat> of HCL as uh, betaine HCL. Uh, you never want to go more than seven capsules at a, at a meal. Uh, one capsule, most people can handle that without any symptom at all. What we're trying to find is uh, uh, how much hydrochloric acid do you need to take to give your stomach the amount that it, would, that it should be producing. And for some people, it may be none. For others, it may be one or two uh, of these capsules or tablets, uh, but never more than seven. And we use kind of a, this feedback of how people feel in order to find that right dosage. And as I said earlier, it's a simple therapy but it's a life-changing therapy. Again, the, the, one of the key indicators of if you need hydrochloric acid is uh, if you feel uncomfortable after eating within the first 30 minutes or you have a lot of gas or bloating. I also look at the fingernails. Uh, the nails are primarily composed of protein and minerals. We need hydrochloric acid to digest protein we need hydrochloric acid to ionize the minerals so that they can be absorbed. So uh, if someone has weak peeling or cracked fingernails, that's often a sign of a lack of hydrochloric acid. That's interesting. Yeah. And um, is it, uh, in your therapies, is it an either or HCL versus enzymes? Or is the HCL actually to break down the proteins and then we have the enzymes to um, utilize them and uh, to break the, the other food ingredients. What, what is your suggestion? Yeah, some people need hydrochloric acid. Some people need digestive enzymes. Some people need both. Uh, most uh, HCL products contain not only HCL or hydrochloric acid, uh, but also uh, uh, pepsin uh, or uh, vegetarian forms of pepsin. Pepsin is an enzyme uh, secreted by our stomach cells to help uh, break down uh, proteins. Um, but that's only proteins. We have other food components and protein digestion uh, takes place not only in the stomach but further uh, in the small intestine with the help of 
uh, pancreatic enzymes. So if someone is lacking hydrochloric acid, uh, they're lacking their output of uh, pancreatic enzymes because the release of pancreatic enzymes into the small intestine is dependent upon uh, the food, uh, the chyme, the mixture of, of food and stomach contents uh, into the small intestine should be very acidic because of the the, the stomach acid that was was uh, secreted. But if there's lack of stomach acid, the pH could be too high, and in that case, the, there's no stimulus, there's no trigger to release those pancreatic enzymes. So then you, you just you don't you don't get uh, further digestion of the food. So uh, how do you know what you need if you have symptoms of indigestion that occur in the first 30 minutes of eating, that's usually lack of hydrochloric acid. If the symptoms persist or occur after 45 minutes of eating, that's usually a sign of lack of uh, pancreatic enzymes, and in that situation we would want to use digestive enzymes. That's really helpful, and uh, thanks very much for informing us in depth of these <laughs> really simple but uh, on the other side not well-known issues and uh, compensation possibilities. Yeah, and again, it, it, when you find the right uh, natural approach, giving your body the tools it needs to be healthy, it is a life-changing event. That's good to know. Yes. Thank you very much, Mike. Thank you.